12 FPS, boys. God, it's so bad. It's so laggy. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, is the Andari dev here? What's up, dude? Ah, oh, it's so terrible, mate. It's so bad. Why is that happening? Do you use Windows 7? Hmm. Look at that! Look at that! Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> wow. XH SDF, thank you for the almost two years, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. That's stuttering. That's my bad. I don't know why. It, it's that's new. <laughs> that is brand new, baby. <laughs> Thank you for the 23 months, dude. Give him some love and hype chat. Report playback issue? No, that's on my end. I see that on my local OBS. I see that on my end as well. Hold on, I need to have a look. Like, is it reporting, like, draw? Is it because I'm recording as well? I don't know. Let's stop the recording. Maybe that'll fix it. That shouldn't be the issue, though. I've been recording all my VODs for past streams. And... Yeah, there it is. Warning high encoding. That's the issue. My CPU is getting destroyed for some reason. I thought I was overclocked. Am I not overclocked? Hold on. I thought for sure I was overclocked. My CPU is getting wrecked. <laughs> Six core CPU not strong enough for Half-Life and OBS. Panic. Well, I guess technically 12 core. I thought for sure I was overclocked. I have to be. Even if I wasn't, it's fucking Half-Life. There's no way it's stressing my CPU that much. <laughs> nah, man, it's just yelling at me about high encoding. Oh. Even better, my CPU is down clocking. When I'm moving, my CPU is going from 3.6 gigahertz down to 1.4. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fucking sick, dude. Sick, bro. <laughs> Heat issues? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's running at... What is it running at? <laughs> uh, where is... I'll just get real temp, I guess, quickly. God damn it. It shouldn't be melting. I... It's hooked up properly, I think. <laughs> I hope so. Maybe I accidentally unplugged the pump, <laughs> which would be really embarrassing. But let's see what... I, I don't think that's the case. Because in the BIOS, I was idling at 29 degrees, so that's probably not the problem. There's no way I'm over overheating. I doubt that's the issue. I was getting 29 in the BIOS... So there's no way this is the problem. Holy fuck! <laughs> Chat, I think I found the problem. <laughs> I think I found the problem, chat. <laughs> I think I may have found the issue. Half win. Thank you for the five months, dude. Give him some love and hype, chat. That's normal? No, that is definitely not normal. That is definitely not normal. 
Especially since I'm using a liquid cooler on my CPU. All right, hold on. I'm going to see if the pump is on. It should be on. I, I, I don't know. I put thermal paste. I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second. They were spinning when I put it back together. <laughs> I don't know why they're not spinning now. Like literally, on Friday stream, there were no issues, right? That was with the same stuff I'm using now. What changed? What changed in the like two days? I don't know what changed in two days. What the hell happened? <laughs> Why are my fans no longer spinning? <laughs> if I flick the fan with my finger, it starts to spin. Is that bad? <laughs> Is, is that is that cause for worry? <laughs> are they stuck? I don't think they are. <laughs> it's not caked in dirt. I blew it out. It's fine. With the one fan spinning, the temperatures went down at least. They went down like 10 degrees. But the other fan isn't spinning still. <sighs> They're plugged into the CPU fan connectors on my motherboard. Put it in the fridge. I could. That would explain the down clocking. Uh, should I turn my PC off and have a look at this? <laughs> or should I just get the other fan going for today and just deal with it? Or, or, or should I like actually do something about this now? <laughs> I live in Canada, just put it outside, I could. Turn it off? Okay, I'll turn it off. I don't know why.